Hello everyone, I'm back. I am your teacher, Vilia W. Insik, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This time, I'm going to teach you the different tools in baking. So let's start. Let's start from the baking wares. So these are different baking wares that I will be, I am using during my baking time. So this is what we call the uh, cake pans. Cake pan. So this is an example of a cake pan, which is called the tube, the tube center pan. So this can be separated, and then this is usually used in making all types of chiffon cake. We also have the kind of cake pan which is what we call the bund pan. So this bund pan has a um, slotted area here inside and this is usually used in baking special cakes or baking elegant cakes. We also have here the kind of pan which is what we call the uh, loof pan. So of course this loof pan comes from uh, the small size and then the bigger one and the other one has a cover cover so this loaf pan is usually used in baking loaf bread for us we also have here the what we call the muffin pans this muffin pan muffin pans so this is how it looks like it has 12 um, 12 small pans here inside and this is usually used in baking your muffins or cupcakes. So delicious. So this is also what we call the uh, jelly roll pan. So this jelly roll pan, this is used in making rolled, rolled cakes. I know some of you has already an idea what this a rolled cake is. So just take a look at the picture of the rolled cake. So we also have here the what we call the custard cup. So the custard cup is made up of ceramics, and this is an uh, oven uh, oven baked uh, free. Uh, this is um, this can be this can be tolerable to high heat. So this is just what we use in baking individual custard. So maybe some of you would like to ask, um, what is custard, mom? So custard in our own that is usually known as leche flan so it's delicious so if you wanted to make a leche flan or custard individually so you can make use of this custard cup so by the way all the cake pans or the baking wares are made up of different kinds of materials so some of the, those are made up of glass the other one stainless steel or uh, it is made up of aluminum so let's proceed to another kind of baking tools we have here the what we call the biscuit and donut cutter. So this is not the biscuit and donut cutter which is used to cut your biscuits or your donut. So if I'm going to bake, uh, bake a donut, so this is what I'm going to make use. So for, uh, the little circle for the center hole. So for the biscuits, I only have here one shape of the biscuit. So this is what we call the uh, biscuit cutter. So we also have here the cutting tools. For the cutting tools, it is consists of a knife and of course of the chopping board. So this is used in cutting your nuts, the glazed fruits, and other uh, baking ingredients. So we also have here the um, what we call the grater. So this grater is used in grating cheese, of course, and most of you have this one at home. You can also grate some of the uh, ingredients like vegetables and fruits for your baking. So this is also what we call a sifter. So a sifter is used in sifting dry ingredients for baking. So we also have here a flour sifter. So this flour sifter, this is how the flour sifter, uh, sifter looks like, and it has already it has two sif, uh, two two screens here, so that the flour sifted is very fine, and it is this is how it will be used. So that's it. And of course, we have here the measuring cup. 
So the measuring cap has, has two kinds. We have the glass. So this measuring glass, and we also have here the stainless. So for the measuring glass, this is used in measuring liquid ingredients. So liquid ingredients like milk, water, juice, and oil, and etc. and the likes. So we also have here uh, the kind of cup, the stainless, made up of stainless. So it has made up of different sizes because its size has its corresponding measurement. So this is for one cup, for one half cup, for one third, and of course for one fourth cup. So this, uh, this kind of cup <coughs> is used in measuring um, dry ingredients. So this cup is for liquid ingredients. This kind of cup is for dry ingredients. We also have here the measuring spoons. So measuring spoons so has also different kinds of these different shapes because it has different measurements in every shape. So this is for one tablespoon. Uh, this is for one half tea, one teaspoon. This is one half and this is one fourth teaspoon. So this is used in measuring liquid and dry ingredients in small amount only. We also have here the pastry wheel. So this pastry wheel, it has a blade. This one is sharp, so be very careful. So this is used in cutting your pastry dough. So we also have here the pastry knife or the, the, the kitchen shear. So this kitchen shear is very useful in cutting delicate um, cakes and dough. So you're gonna use this one. Another baking tool that is very useful in baking your bread and pastry is what we call the spatula. So spatula has different sizes. I have your different sizes because this is very useful actually in uh, placing icings on cakes. And this one, the, the little one is of course, uh, I make. I usually use this one in getting off the cookies from the um, baking pans. Okay, we also have here the rubber scraper. So this rubber scraper is usually used to scrape all the the side bits that is uh, placed there at the side of the bowl. So this is also used in mixing sometimes your. Uh, ingredients. Usually this is used in scraping. So this is what we call the rubber scraper. We also have here another baking tool that is very important in baking is what we call the wire whip. So this wire whip is used in of course mixing your ingredients very carefully and finely. So I usually use this one in uh, mixing butter so that all the ingredients are mixed well so we also have here the wooden ladle so wooden ladle actually is very useful because especially in mixing your ingredients because um once this one this wooden ladle is used in mixing ingredients especially on fire when when you're going to place a mixing ingredients on heat while boiling or while heating the ingredients this does not really contain any contaminants that will be developed while when heating when when heat so uh, this is very, this is a very useful and friendly ladle to use another is what we call the of course very useful especially in making um, cookies uh, in making dough making biscuits so this is what we call a rolling pin so this is the kind of rolling pin I have and this is used to flatten your bread to flatten your dough to flatten your biscuits so by the way we also have here the electric mixer so this is the electric mixer so this is how the electric mixer looks like and it is um, uh, run by electricity and of course this is used to mix your butter or your dough for a heavy duty uh, butter especially if you're making bread so I am using the uh, what we call the um, kitchen aid so the bigger one the bigger one <clears throat> so of course we also have here the um, pastry bag 
So this is the disposable pastry bag that I am always using when decorating my cakes or making the uh, making um, uh, what do you call this shapes on my pastries. So I am just making use of the disposable uh, pastry bag so that after using this one, I'm just gonna dispose it. So it's my my work is clean, of course, because I love clean work. Talaga. So. That pastry bag, this is where you're going to put in your dough, or your butter, or your icing. And then, of course, its partner is what we call the pastry tips or the decorative tips. So, this is, of course, in different uh, different decorative decor uh, different shapes. Uh, it has number in it. Uh, in every number, it has different uh, designs. So, this is where you are going to place. This tips is where this is where you are going to place your uh, tips here in your decorative uh, decorating bag. So just like this. Then you can now place uh, place your butter, your icing, or your dough here, and do your um, art in baking. So aside from the pastry bag, the pastry tips, we also have here the, uh, this is what we call the cookie press. So I am very thankful that I have one of these because this is very useful uh, in making cookies of having a shape already. So because this kind of cookie press has already its different uh, cookie designs. Okay, so it has different, you just have to, to choose which designs you would like to make. And then all you have to do is to, is to place it here. Then, then of course, place your cookie dough here. Dough, then, then you have to lock it. And then just uh, place it in your tray. And then all you have to do is to press one. Then like that. So this is how useful the cookie press is. We also have the weighing scale. So weighing scale, this is the weighing scale that I have. There are also the uh, weighing scale that is digital already, but I have this one. This is very useful, especially in weighing your um, ingredients when baking. Uh, we also have the, of course, the utility uh, tray. This utility tray is where you are going to place all your ingredients that you need when baking. So we have the mixing bowl, which is very important. So this is where your uh, where your ingredients is being mixed. So without this ingredients, so that you will not be able to bake or bake your cakes and pastries. We also have some of the baking tools that was not found here, but let me just show you this. Okay, that's all for today's video. Hope you've learned something. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not able to subscribe yet. Like and write your comment down below. And see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye. Oh, I'm going to go to the house.